Oh, who say does that star spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the That incredible performance was from Skylar Cole singing our national anthem. Basketball fans, you've got it on 2K Sports as we get set to bring you an exciting NBA basketball game. And in our matchup tonight, you'll see the Los Angeles Lakers going up against the Philadelphia 76ers here in Wells Fargo Center. This is Kevin Harlan. We've got Steve Smith and Greg Anthony at the table with me. And the fourth member of our crew, David Aldridge, our sideline reporter. Hey, Dave. Well, thanks very much, guys. Of course, the NBA has had some legendary trash talkers. But Damian Lillard says it's not really a verbal assault like it used to be. In this era, it's more gestures. From the watch your head to the too small or rock the baby to Trey Young's theatrical bows, players have their ways of sending a message. Kevin? And the message usually received, D.A. <laughs> Thank you. As the regular season continues, Smitty, What's it like on those long road trips? You know, Kevin, it can really wear on you, especially physically. And then being away from home for so long, that's not great. But on the positive side, the lengthy road trips are a chance to bond with your teammates. Here are the starters for Los Angeles. We've got Davis. Russell Westbrook out there with Patrick Beverly. And there's Bryant, and it's LeBron in at the three shot. And for Philadelphia. Front court is Thibel and Harris. Tyrese Maxey out there with Harden. And it's Embiid in at the five spot. Now, here's Maxey. Embiid with a screen on Beverly. Maxey finds Embiid. Shot clock at five. And Harris wide open. He shoots. Knocks down the three ball. Well conceived play. The pass is right on time. Tobias catches in rhythm. Difficult set to defend. Here's LeBron. And Philadelphia grabs the miss. And this matchup with the Lake, it's their first meeting of the season. Yeah, and they swept this matchup the two times they played last year. They held the advantage on paper and on the court. But hey, it's a different season, and anything can happen. Count that one. Offensively, we see MD all over the floor, but inside is where he can really utilize that size. Now here's James. 23 points his last outing. And the dunk by James. Ooh, just shook his man loose with a crafty play inside. And then the dunk just tops it off beautifully. Embiid with a screen on Westbrook. And there's the pass to Viper. Embiid inside. Davis is there. Embiid, no good. Both sides attacking. That was good defense versus good offense. Beverly, the pass to Westbrook. And the layup fall. Right at the basket is where Westbrook wants to be. He is fearless about going inside. Pass to Embiid. And Harden wide open. He shoots. Offline with his three. Lakers have gone two or three here to start off the game. Here's LeBron. Good. Nice assist from Westbrook. 
The raw power of James excels at taking on physical defense and finishing. Well, we know we're in the later stages of his career, but Steve, it's just simply incredible, mind-boggling really, how athletic LeBron James remains. Kevin, to put it frankly, we've never seen anything like this. He's still getting up with ease for some vicious throwdowns. A testament to how hard he works. And it's Beverly missing. And so it's hard bringing it up for Philadelphia. Coming into this, having not to win against the Rockets in their last game. And sometimes it's a lot harder to get easy looks on the road. But they found ways to get their guys good looks. You know what it is. That's good advanced scouting. They knew what they were in for, and they were ready. Here's Bryant. James Harden picking up that last pass. James dishes to Bryant. And Embiid pulls it down. Embiid's got his fourth rebound in this one. Here's Harden, and there's the drive. And Ron's Harden has a little game behind him. Watch out. They love seeing the beer flush it down there. It's an out. Westbrook kicks to Bryant. Pass to LeBron. And the shot goes down. James has got his third basket of the night right there. Philadelphia leading by three. Maxi passes to Embiid. From deep heart. That's him coming off the assist from Embiid. This is the kind of start they were hoping for. Pass to Davis. To the middle. Here's Westbrook. And the layup's good off the glass. Westbrook's got his second bucket of the night. Savvy ball movement by Anthony Davis. Making good use of his floor vision. The three from Harden. He's off on that one. And the Lakers will go the other way with it. Now the pass to James. That one a little long. Bible can't get it to go. Lakers trail by four. Davis kicks to Westbrook. Davis, the pass to James. And the tuck by LeBron. Very athletic move by LeBron on the slam, showing the defense he still can be unstoppable. Passing to Harden. He pointer. Caps in the tray. Harden's got 10 points in the game. He's given a great lift to this offense tonight. Very, very efficient. Westbrook passes to Bryant. Davis against Embiid. Davis setting the pick for LeBron. Takes a three. And Embiid pulls it down. Philadelphia leading by five. Bible kicks to Harden. At the top of the key, Maxi. First shot, first pass. He's on the block fast. High offensive IQ. He makes great reads and adjustments on the fly. And you love seeing that great mobile one drive a second time. And continuing to press their advantage. They're not taking their foot off the game. Now here is Davis. What a tremendous game he played against Toronto. And he could not get that one to go. Out of contact. And he'll go to the line for two. That one on MD. You know, there's so many things AD can do on the floor to help your team win. And guys, let's get your take on the scoring breakdown for the 76ers. Well, in my opinion, the way the three has been falling for them here early on, you have to think they'll keep firing away. And I really like how they've moved the ball tonight. Because of this selfless approach, they are piling up the assists. The first free throw is good. Expectations for the Lakers are always high. And it's led to some disappointment in the past few seasons. And the 76ers making a change here. Tucker's checked in. So Anthony Davis nails both of them. 
Yeah, a lot of disappointment. The Lakers built a roster, Steve, of some of the most proven veteran players in the league, too. And when healthy, that pays big dividends. But if those vets lose time to injury, it can be tough to have success. We've seen that happen in L.A. Kevin. Now here is Harris. He's making his presence felt offensively with his scoring average up there at almost 13 points a game. Lakers trail by five. Now Westbrook gets Davis on the wing. Lakers working the ball around now. And it's Davis with the jam. <laughs> what a beautiful play. And it was great timing. Then the athletic finish by AD. Harden scanning the floor. Feeds to Embiid. Over Davis. And Davis sends it to... And it's Davis with the ball for Los Angeles. It's a three-point game. This game coming on the heels of their win against Toronto. The mental toughness on the road. The arena was rocking, but they just got down to business and never let up. It was a terrific performance we got a chance to watch. They got into a nice rhythm and made smart adjustments along the way. Philadelphia leading by three. Up there for Embiid. Takes the alley pass and dunks it down. And you put the ball anywhere within a three-foot radius of the rim. And Embiid's going to go get it. And he's also coming with bad intentions. So the Lakers call timeout. They're first. Changes for Philadelphia. And Trez Harrell, he's checked in for Joel Embiid. Jake Milton comes in for Harris. And it's DeAnthony Melton in for James Harden. Lakers trail by five. Walker the pass to none. Back to Walker. Going inside. Over Maxi. And again, no good by the Lakers. Philadelphia's gone three of seven from three-point range in the first quarter. And here's Melton. Eleven points for him in that last game against the Rockets in Houston. Tucker has screened. Here's Milton. The Lakers with the rebound. Outside, Davis. No one on him, and he makes the easy one. Davis has got his second bucket of the night. These close-range shots are Davis's bread and butter. He is a consistent scorer inside. Now, here's Milton. He's averaging around five and a half points a game. He gets that one. And the 76ers lead by five. I'll tell you what, I'm not sure these guys can keep this up. Yeah, both teams in the zone early. Stops have been almost impossible to come by. Now, here's Walker. A 14-point game for him in the win against Toronto. 
Here's Davis. That's in, and he's now three for three and looking sharp. And they repeatedly broke inside in the first half, guys, and, and it's paid off. Alan for Anthony Davis, a big contributor to this team when healthy. Kevin A.D. does everything on the court that you ask of him. He can defend his space and guard just about anybody. <laughs> Along with being a force on the offensive side, he's a terrific talent. It's his first trip to the line. He's knocked down three quarters of his foul shots this season, so he's right around 75%. Shooting two. Free throw drops for Melton. And Greg, the Philadelphia 76 have made it very clear that they are all in on a title run. And their front office has been very focused on trying to get top-tier talent on this roster. After the trust the process era, they're now aggressively pursuing titles here in Philly. Melton hits them both. And some teams take on the attitude of their city. And over the years, Philadelphia has been one of them. The Sixers known for having tough teams, much like the town. Walker the pass to Toscano. Jones finds none. Jones with the screen on Melton. None can't get it to fall. And Greg, you mentioned the 76ers have taken on the identity of Philadelphia. In your estimation, how? Huh? You know, you go all the way back to the 80s. This has been a team that plays hard, focuses on defense, gritty, much like their city. So they tend to play with a chip on their shoulder. Back at four. Here's Melton. And the 76ers get it back. Tigers from deep. That's no good. Misses his first shot of the night. And right from the start, Kevin, they've been pounding the glass. Most of those 50-50 balls also going their way. Knocks it loose. Pass to Milton. Fires for three. The Lakers with the rebound. I'm shocked that it didn't turn into three points. I mean, he makes you pay on those nearly every time. Walker the pass to Jones. The shot's good on the assist by Walker. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. Pass to Harold. On the wing, Milton. Hit by Harold. Milton with it. Jones covering. Puts it up from seven. And no problem from Harrell as he finishes at the rim. And the 76ers lead by five. And none has got the ball here for Los Angeles. 51 seconds left to play here in the first. Can't hit from in close. Woo, blown opportunity right there. Won't get many chances easier than that one. Feeling it out a bit. Outside, Maxi. Off target from outside. Lakers trail by five. And the pass to none. Out to the right wing. Melton against Walker. Eight second difference between the shot clock and the game. Passes it to Reeves. Just five on the clock. Here's none. He grabs the miss. On deep. No good on the last second attempt here. James Harden getting it done for the 76ers. He got the double digits for the quarter with 10 points total. And we've got more in 2K Sports coming your way after this break. seen from the 76ers what do you guys think well they use the fast break to generate some easy buckets before the defense could get set you know this the team that dictates the pace typically rules the roost 
We see that here early on. Lakers trail by five. We've got Matisse Seibel. And Bead is out there with Harold. Then it's D'Anthony Melton. And it's Harden in at the one. That's the group on the four for Philadelphia. He goes up strong, but he is met with resistance. I think that surprised him a little bit. And with an update from the sideline, let's check in with David Aldridge. Thank you, guys. Now, Tobias Harris has been the leading scorer on teams in the NBA. But on the Sixers, he understands his role is different. He says, I'm not a guy who's going to press looks. The ball's going to flow how it flows, and I just got to be ready when the opportunity comes my way. So that's what winning basketball is all about. Kevin? David, thank you. The power of LeBron, even if you tried to give the hard foul, he'll go right through you. I believe great last season, LeBron missing the playoffs for just the third time in his career. And Kevin, it, it almost felt surreal to not have him in the playoffs. I mean, this guy's been a fixture in the postseason for almost two decades now. Just another bullet on LeBron's incredible resume. We know you need talent to win, Steve, so how critical is basketball IQ to winning at the highest level? How important is it in that equation? Kevin, it's everything. A playoff series can turn on a single play, and the guys, you can tell the difference who has a high basketball IQ and an average IQ. It does make a difference. Very surprising. He gets the ball where he wants it in a decent matchup. And Walker kicks to Westbrook. LeBron sets the screen for Westbrook. Outside Bryant. Pass to LeBron. Davis in the corner. Los Angeles with another miss. Philadelphia leading by four. Pass to Melton. Back to Harden. Philadelphia moving the ball around. There's Embiid, and right on through for another basket. He's got five made on five of nine shooting. And that's what the pump makes there for. Get your man off his feet and drive around. Always fun to watch James go off like this. He's getting everything he wants on the offensive end. Hard for the pass to Embiid. Here's Thibel. Harris outside. The pass to Embiid. Over Davis. And Davis sends it back. Here's Westbrook looking at his point production. He averages almost 11 points a game. Left side, Walker. Safety move. And the rejection by MB. Lift plus agility. Great recipe for blocking shots. Embiid's one of the best to do it. Lakers trail by four. Davis kicks to James. Loads it up for Davis. Very pretty alley play. Oh, get a load of that one. Take that play and put it in the alley of textbook. Oh, perfectly done. You're right. He put it on a platter for him. Now here is Harris. He had 25 points in the win against the Rockets in Houston. And it's Westbrook with the ball. He brings it up for Los Angeles. At the conclusion of this game, they're off to Detroit where they'll face the Pistons. The team is a little road weary right now. That is the sixth consecutive game away from them. Here's Bible. 14 points from him, the last game against Houston. Harden against Davis. No good that time. So Los Angeles will take it the other way. Melton against Westbrook. Can't tie it up as that one misses. The 76ers lead. Melton with the ball. He averages a bit over six points a game. Here's Harris. Off the mark and the drop continues. Los Angeles has gone 0-2 from deep on the side. Now Westbrook. LeBron James on the way. Defended by Bible. Here's Davis. And again, the Lakers.
is no good. The 76ers have gone just two of eight shooting here in the second quarter. Passes it to Harris. And here's Embiid. For Davis. Embiid, no good. Davis against Melton. Outside Davis. Shot from the wing. And Philadelphia grabs the miss. The will is there, but the execution is lacking. He can't seem to finish plays this quarter. Embiid with a screen on Davis. Harden's shot is off. He's tried to get it going, but the shot simply has not been there. Nothing seems to be wrong. And Davis can't get it to go. He's kind of lost his way this period, having a hard time getting anything to go down. He's cooled down a little bit after draining those two three-pointers in the first quarter. Miss Brooks surveying the D. Ask to Davis. He dishes it to LeBron. Three-pointer. And that one falls, coming off of Davis' speed. Davis has got three assists tonight. He's dangerous from everywhere. LeBron is even better shooting it from the corner. And the 76ers decide to take their first time out here. Checked in for DeAnthony Melton. The Lakers also changing it up. Patrick Beverly comes in for Lonnie Walker. And it's Kendrick Nunn in for Russell Westbrook. the Rockets in Houston. And not only was he creating for himself, he was setting up teammates with good shots. I'll tell you what, he earned his money on that foul. Now let's take a moment to get your guys' take on the scoring so far for Los Angeles. For me, it's all about playing downhill. They've been making it look easy to find penetration in this one. Attacking the lanes and forcing the issue with the D. And something else that I liked is how they attack the paint, finding ways to get inside and capitalize time and time again. That's good from Beverly. Greg, here's a classic NBA question. Who's been the best franchise in league history? Celtics or the Lakers? Come on, Kevin. You are putting me on the spot. But I'd go with the Lakers. More superstars over the years. And I think that 2000s run with Kobe and company, that put them ahead in my estimation. All three throws, good from Beverly. And some added toughness on the roster. Something really new they needed after last year's playoffs. The hope is adding scrappy veterans like P.J. Tucker and Anthony Melvin will help them further this go round. That one falls. He's got his second basket of the night. And for a big man, he sees the floor as well as any big. Recognizes when 
one of his guys has an opening for a shot. And again, no good by the Lakers. And it's Matthew with the ball for the Philadelphia 76ers. Following this one, they get to host the Hawks. Swim B. Back to Maxi. Launches a three. Rebound the Lakers. Bryant's got his fifth rebound in this one. And here's none. He's coming off a 13-point game against Toronto. And they double up James. Stolen by Tucker. Last break, Philadelphia. Maxi finds Milton. Back to Maxi. And that one clearly foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. The 76ers have had two chances at the line already, making them both. And they've shot the ball well this season in, in terms of their attempts. 81%. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. First one falls for him. And the 76ers making a change here. Harrell's check in. Hits him both. We've seen him put a lot of pressure on the defense and then cash in at the line. Beverly the pass to Reeves. And Beverly kicks to nine. To the paint. Lock at six. Here's Toscano. Still looking for his first bucket in this one. We've seen the lead change hands quite a bit in this one. And guys, I think each team knows they can win this game. Just a matter of who can catch that moment. Maxie finds Hill. Here's Milton. Philadelphia moving the ball. Outside, Maxie. Back to Milton. Over one. Harold. That's his second shot and his second basket. He's two for two. And the rebound battle split evenly thus far. Now here's Beverly. Taking a look at his numbers, he averages about seven points a game. Bucket is good. Every organization needs team first guys like Patrick Beverly. That's a terrific pass. 76ers trailing. Milton with it. Now, Maxi down low. Here's Harrell, and he banks in the layup. Harrell's got four points now in the corner. And defensively, they are on their heels every time the ball comes inside. And here's Beverly. The pass to Nunn. Jones sets the pick for Nunn. And stolen by Harrell. Here's Milton. Outside, Maxi. The feed now to Tucker. And they call the foul, so he's got the and one chance here to make it a three-point play. Grown <laughs> man strength of Tucker. Outstanding job taking the hit and scoring it. And he's got his first chance at the line here. And of course, we'd all like to see his percentage at the line improve, but he just does not have the touch right now. He's in the 60s. That one misses for Tucker. The Lakers trail. Beverly wide open. And the Lakers hit again from deep. Strong three-point shooter throughout his career. Can't afford to allow Beverly much room from out there. From the pass to Maxi. To the inside. And contact on the shots. 
so he'll be shooting free throws you know. A few guys play with Carroll's level of energy, and that gets him to the line with some frequency. And he's got his first free throw of the game. Shoot two. That's good from Harrell. Every coach would appreciate having Montrez Harrell on their roster. Plays unselfish, does the dirty work, and gives his team an edge. He's perfect from the line this time. And so Beverly will bring it up for the Lakers. They trail by one. Here's none. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. Jones dishes to Beverly. Five to shoot. Los Angeles needs to get off the shot here. Reeves can't hit. Philadelphia's gone 0-3 from beyond the line to start the second quarter. Bible with the pass to Milton. Can't connect from short range. LA has gotten half their shots from three-point range to go down in the second quarter. Three of six from downtown. Here's Beverly. And defending Patrick Beverly, it's hard to match his level of energy and activity. This is his second trip to the free throw line. And that 84% free throw percentage is a testament to all the hard work he's put in on the line. Free throw, no good. You really wouldn't know what size he is because Patrick Beverly gives you toughness at that point guard position, and he's physical. And he's good on the second. The 76 are shooting not great, 40% for the game. The basket, Maxi. Tucker has screen. Shot from 12. Off the left, room and out. And Los Angeles guys uh, shooting 41% from the field here in the second. None finds Beverly. 107 left to play in the first half. Six to shoot. Here's the three. Milton grabs the ball. The 76ers shooting in the second quarter has been pretty iffy down 32%. Carroll up top. Drops in the layup for two. Hill's got eight points here in this quarter. They're scoring boatloads of buckets. It's raining buckets from inside. It's Beverly on the wing. It's good. It's his second basket. He's shooting two for four. Just 6-1, but not many players more physical than Patrick Beverly. Maxi against Beverly. Maxi, no good. Los Angeles has gone for the three-pointer seven times here in the second and been successful three times. Nine, looking around. Deep three-point range, and that'll do it for the first half. Game time. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Kevin, thanks. Joel, as you look at the game so far, how would you evaluate yourself? I think defensively I'm doing pretty good. Offensively, I still got to work on a lot of stuff. But it's going well. I just got to calm down, slow down, let the game come to me, and we'll be all, all good. Hey, thanks for your time, man. See you in the second half. Back to you, Kevin. Thank you, David. And we'll be back for the third quarter of action following halftime.
Greetings, everybody. We love exciting. And this game is delivered as we've seen two top players battling mano a mano. Great battle between these two. They take a lot of pride in how they approach the game. And it seems like they're playing with extra enthusiasm tonight. Yeah, those elite matchups, man, they can bring the best out of you. And now let's talk about Joel Embiid's first half performance, W-O-W. I like that he hasn't settled. Getting what he wants in the paint, he's wearing those boys down. Yeah, a man among men tonight. No one's really stood up to him. And that'll do it for halftime. We send you back to Kevin Harlan, who has the second half call. Second half of basketball upon us. We may be in for an exciting finish based on how close of a game it's been so far. What can you say, LeBron James? What an impressive effort today. The, the burst he's had when going at the rim has been fantastic. A lot of strong finishes with two quarters. His activity level has made an impact, and he is fearless. We're taking a look at the Lakers. Patrick Beverly out there with Russell Westbrook. And there's Davis, and it's LeBron James, and it's Bryant in at the four spot. Now, here's Kleiber. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. Now Beverly passes it to Westbrook. Over Maxi. James, no good. You know, not sure if he's playing to the crowd, but, but no need for the fadeaway on that shot. And B with a screen on Westbrook. Here's Harden. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. That one on Davis. And the playmaking of Harden continues to impress. Whether he's looking for his shot or creating for others, such a dynamic talent. No good on that one. Well, James Harden still a tremendous player, but now in his early 30s, some question, can he be the dominant MVP force we saw in Houston? That one misses, and Greg Harden in recent years dealing with hamstring injuries. Has he lost a step to age or injury? You know, probably a little of both, but we've seen players with a new diet or training regimen get back to peak production. Hopefully, he can as well. And it's in there. And it's six points for Russell Westbrook. This is who Westbrook is in a nutshell. A flat-out baller with a quick trigger. Harden the pass to Maxi. It's hauled in by Beverly. Beverly's got four rebounds now tonight. Outside Westbrook. It's hauled in by the 76ers. With it, he's got 10. Pass to Harris. Here's MB. He's guarded by Davis. Embiid inside, Davis is on. All of AD's seven, six wingspan coming into play allowed him to block it away. Out of bounds, Philadelphia takes possession. And Philadelphia has possession. They're scoreless since the first half. Harden the pass to Thibel. Just under two and a half minutes into the third quarter now. Pass to Maxi. Over Beverly. Another miss by Philadelphia. 
starting to have with three straight misses. Now how they envision this one. Davis inside, and Beads there, and it's Davis missing. The 76ers trail by four. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking the lid off. And now the latest from our reporter, David Oldham. Thanks very much. The Lakers are, of course, one of the league story franchises. Magic Johnson was asked recently if they have the best all-time game players. He says it's not even close. Outside of Bill, we have all the dominant closers. Kobe, Jerry, LeBron now, Kirby. Come on now, it's just too many Lakers. Kevin, back to you. <laughs> <laughs> He's got a point, David. We thank you for your report. The Anthony Melton. He's checked in for the 76ers. Lonnie Walker, he's checked in for the Lakers. Third quarter action in just under three and a half minutes of gone. And finish off by Davis. It's simple. If you get open, LeBron will find you. The key is an incredible pass. Harden the pass to fight. the bucket and he's got a free throw coming up as well and that's a great piece of work to get to the hoop there just tore the knee to shreds an nba all defense for two years running matisse Thibel has been a game-changing defender from the minute he set foot in the nba <laughs> Free throw drops in there for Thibel. And great, we know at Washington, Thibel was the college defensive player of the year. Averaging three and a half steals in over two blocks a game. And per minute, not far off that pace in the pros. His opponent field goal percentage last season did for second best in the league. Now, here's Thibel. Following the miss by Russell Westbrook. Harden the pass to MD. And here now is Thibel. Down to five on the shot clock. For the lead. And Davis sends it back. Here's LeBron. Outside Westbrook. James in the post. Good. Nice assist from Westbrook. And that's now 20 points for LeBron. There is a reason Russell Westbrook ranks among the greatest ever in terms of assists. He excels at getting the ball to his open teammates. Now, here's Melton. And Harden now, top of the key. Oh, and James Harden throws it down home. And this is how a floor leader makes a statement. Harden just put the other team on notice. Toss to rewind, courtesy of the AT&T 5G Slam Camp. Here's James, he'll bring it up for the Lakers. They lead by one. And Embiid pulls it down. The 76ers have gone three and seven on field goal attempts here in the second half. Now, here's Melton. Harden right side. Over Westbrook. Harden, that's good. Harden's got six here in this quarter. Just a great hustle play there. Energy and passion. This is what you play the game here. Here's Davis. Seven feet out and he hits it. And the Lakers lead by one. And not even three quarters out of the way. So many lead changes. The fans, guys, are getting their money's worth. Heck, I should have paid to watch this, but it's been a nail by the Now here's Harden. 16 points for him. Six on the shot clock. Embiid touched the pick for Harden. Another miss by Harden. He started off solid. Had two threes at halftime, but blank from deep sense. LeBron, no good. One made three form for the game. Does he focus closer in? Let's see. Harden gets to Harris. 
Embiid inside. He's covered by Westbrook. Embiid, no good. And when you can't get anything to fall, it definitely gets in your head. His rhythm has been way off. The goal now might be to get him something easy at the rim so he can just see the ball go in through the net, and that helps. Now here's LeBron after the miss from Joel Embiid. Here's Davis. It's hauled in by the 76ers. Embiid's got rebound number 19 now. Incredible board run. And stolen by LeBron. And now the fast break. Westbrook with the ball. Walker's shot is off. For Philadelphia, they've done it somewhat so far. 4-10 on their shots in the second half. Shuffle. And stolen by James. Now the Lakers on the break. James with the ball. I love the effort and energy from LeBron. He knows how to turn a steal into a score. And Philadelphia calls time here. Look at LeBron James. He's really been playing well. You know, he's been a one-man record crew down low. His consistent scoring has dictated the pace of this game. We'll see if they decide to front him, bring a quick double, or maybe even both to try to slow him down. for Philadelphia. Harold, he's checked in for Embiid. P.J. Tucker comes in for Matisse Thibel. And it's Shake Milton in for James Harden. the 76ers. Five on the clock. Here's Milton. The 76ers again can't hit it. Los Angeles leading by three. 11 feet away. Walker's shot is off. And here's Milton. He'll bring it up for Philadelphia. Now Milton. Can they get it? And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. And since Tobias Harris got his big contract with the Sixers, Greg, some say they chose him over Jimmy Butler. And while Tobias is nice, he's never been an all-star. And that's one of the few downsides to a big payday. Some might say he's overpaid. Now, I'm sure he'll take the trade-off. That's good from Harris. Slowly but surely, Harris continues to elevate his game. The shooting, the playmaking, the ability to make a difference. And Harris drops them both. The Lakers with the ball. It's a one-point game. Outside, Walker. The pass to Toscano. 
outside Jones passes it to none just five to shoot Jones sets the pick for none and Jones slams it in an aggressive move and fantastic finish mm -hmm. trying to send a message with that slam I think Milton passes to Milton takes it off the glass he's got six points and just a step ahead of the D in that possession there, making the pass nice assist. Now, here's none. He's guarded closer. Jones sets the pick for none. Three corners off the mark. 76ers have gone 5 of 12 from the field since the third quarter got underway. Milton with it. He has six. And here is Harris. Kept alive. Here is Harrell. Back to Milton. Over none. To the lead. And oh boy, a lot of times there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. Here's a look at some stats for Tobias Harris. He's one of the standouts over the last month. He's getting around 16 points a game, five rebounds, and two assists. But to have a scorer like him consistently deliver you points makes such a big difference for a team. Because he gives you someone to build your offense around, you can count on his nightly production. Ties it up, and this next one will give them the lead. Maxie's checked in for Tobias Harris. And the Lakers also making a switch. Anthony Davis, he's checked in for Jones. And that drops, so they now lead by one. Los Angeles has gotten blank from three-point land so far in the third. Still 0 for 3. Davis with a screen on Melton. Pass to Davis. Gets that one through the hole, making now 7 of 13 in this game. A great competitive game so far. And from the look of it, this one could go right down to the wire. Pass to Tucker. On deep. Gets it from downtown. Tucker's got his second bucket tonight. Defense has to be careful with Tucker from range. He's got reliable accuracy. Walker the pass to Toscano. Davis kicks to none. And Davis setting the pick for none. And he can't answer back the three-pointer off line. And they haven't been able to turn it into a big lead, but their rebound advantage is starting to add up. Here's the pass to Maxi. Good to here. And Davis pulls it down. Davis has got seven rebounds in the game. Passes to none. Outside, Walker. He feeds it to Davis. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. That one on Maxi. Why does the pump fake work? Because of AD's height and ability to elevate. The defender knows he has to close hard to have a chance. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. First free throw is good. And with the struggles AD has had to stay healthy, and you wonder, though, if the team's going to focus on having him be at his best for that postseason run and, and try to manage the wear and tear. Andrew Beverly, he's checked in for Lonnie Walker. And so Anthony Davis nails both of them. 55 seconds left to play in the third. None against Melton. Here's Milton. Carries it down low. He's got 10. Here is Davis. He's got 18. 
Pass to Reeves. Pass to Beverly from downtown. Connects from three-point range. He's got 11. Right at Beverly's wheelhouse, finding space. Quick release off the catch. Money. Shot and game clock separated by five. Milton. Toscano with the rebound. Davis finds Beverly. Dunn, a screen on Maxi. Back to Davis. Well, fade away. And again, it's the Lakers. The offensive IQ AD possesses is special. He's smart at knowing how to get himself going. Three quarters of play in a close game here. Lakers lead by three. Live from Philadelphia, you're watching 2K Sports. Let's hear what Doc Rivers has going on over in his huddle. Hey, Doc, come on. Let's close it. Let's close it. Got to pick up our pace. Got to pick up our pace right here. And Doc Rivers looking for a faster tempo, as you heard, wanting to make a big push here. I think he realizes that his team is attacking at both ends. That's when they tend to go on run. We've reached the fourth quarter, and what has been a very competitive game should be an exciting finish. Harrell is out there with Joel Embiid. Then there's Tyrese Maxey. Then it's Harden, and it's Bible in a small forward spot. That's the group on the floor for Philadelphia. Yeah, that's a great shot. Third three of the game for him, first in this half. Gun bounce back. A fader. And it's Philadelphia with the rebound. Carroll's got six rebounds in the game. Locked up there for Embiid. Hammers the alley through. You can arguably no one in the NBA draws more attention than Hart. He creates so many opportunities for others. Now here's Beverly. Davis setting the pick for Beverly. The rejection by Embiid. The pass to Fiber. We played just over one minute here in the fourth quarter. Harden against none. No one will not be as they must have fought. It's good. The assist that time from Harden. Harden's got the assist tonight. Here's Beverly. They need this. Here's Davis. Nails the baby hook. Davis has got 12 points in just the second half. The defense can't match AD's physicality. He muscles his way to the second chance shot. Bible, the pass to Harden. Harrell, a screen on nothing. Harden's shot is off. Lakers trail by three. Now here's Beverly. Beverly sets the screen for LeBron. Passes it to none. And again, Los Angeles with the triple. And that was the right call. When you need a basket, go to the guys you trust the most. And it was great execution. Clutch effort all the way around. And B kicks the Bible. That's the hero. And here's MB. He's guarded by Davis. Embiid, the pass to Harrell. Down to five on the shot clock. And here's Harden for three. And they recover it. Five hole for three. That one doesn't drop. So the Lakers will take it the other way. Puts it up for Davis. Next touch on the alley. My goodness. Say, say that one. I, I want to see that again. Me too. Just absolutely beautiful. Harden the pass to five. Will it go? The shot will not fall. LeBron with some nice deep. And so James will bring it up to the Lakers. The lead is two. 11 feet away. Misses off the left eye. 76 years of run. 3 of 7 from the 4 in the 4th. That's a 42% mark in the court. Harden drops the double. That's 
on the three-point contest this season. Here are some of the early favorites to make up the field. And I love the way the voting is shaping up, Kevin. We'll have an excellent contest if these are the shooters who are firing away on All-Star Weekend. Well, you look at LeBron James. He's going to need to leapfrog quite a few great shooters if he's going to be a part of the three-point festivities on All-Star Weekend. But, you know, maybe he can do it. I mean, it, anything's possible, especially if he has a few big games from beyond the arc before All-Star Weekend. That gives him a nice bump in the voting. And as the votes keep pouring in, we'll keep you updated on any changes to that list. It looks like we're going to have quite a group. Now, you talk about the ultimate marksman's list here, Kevin. Maybe this will be the year somebody gets that perfect score. the 76ers making a change here. Harris is checked in, and then for the Lakers. Lonnie Walker, he's checked in for Patrick Beverly. And Russell Westbrook has subbed in for Kendrick Nunn. It's time now to hear from our Hall of Fame reporter, David Aldridge. What's the latest, David? Hey, Kevin, during the last break, I heard Doc Rivers talking with his team. He told him, hey, this game is there for you, but we got to go get it. 50-50 balls, getting to the basket. We have to give it all right now, Kevin. All right, thank you, David. The pass to Harden. Philadelphia moving the ball. And slam dunk by Maxey. Just a smooth player who leads the floor incredibly well. Harden is always looking to get his teammates involved. Now here's Davis. Westbrook kicks to LeBron. Back to Westbrook. Over Harden. No good off the front iron. Not sure if that's the shot you were looking for, but it's a fairly clean look. Almost have to take it. Maxi passes to Embiid. Sinks the three-pointer. And now a 3.76ers lead. And this coaching staff loves to see that kind of aggression from their game. No hesitation on the jump shot. That's the mentality they want out of a big man. Really crisp, intelligent passing to make that basket possible. Maxi looking it over. The 19 foot shot. Westbrook with the block. Great defensive effort by Russell Westbrook. Terrific closeout ability. LeBron outside. Shot clock at six. No good. Shot missing. And Philadelphia on the other way now. Harden outside. against Davis. Harris outside. There's Embiid. And Embiid throws it down. This is where Tobias has really improved. Keeping his eyes up. Making plays for others. LeBron outside. Davis setting the pick for James. Davis the pass to James. 
over Thibel. Pass to Davis. Over MP. And they get it back. And stolen by Thibel. Outside, Maxi. Goes up to the strike, and again it's Philadelphia. And the jump shot has been a dimension of this game where they've had a clear advantage. They can use a big shot here to get this offense going. Too many empty possessions. Right now they need a basket. Right open up for Walker. Good, and the assist goes to LeBron. James has got five assists in the game. Pass to Embiid. I go up top. Pass to Harris. Back to Thibault. He's looking for Embiid and finds him. And Embiid comes it down. And if you want to talk about a player who embodies the power game, then Embiid's your man. You, you know you're going to get some strong finishes anytime he's on the floor. And the Lakers call time here. Anthony Melton. He's jacked in for Philadelphia. Here's Davis. LeBron outside. Davis setting the pick for James. Driving to the basket. Good D by Embiid. He's having a tough quarter scoring the basketball and able to help him close this gap. Back to Melton. That's him coming off the assist from Embiid. Embiid's got assist number five here tonight. Bounce pass from Westbrook. On the way, Bryant. For the three, drains it from beyond the arc. Bryant's got himself going there, his first points of the game on the deep ball. What a time for him to step up. Big three right there. That's what you have to do. Blood shots, blood shooters, they come through in those positions. Embiid with a screen on Bryant, and Davis sends it back. And it's out of bounds. The 76ers have a return possession here. And right now, let's watch that terrific swat. And boy, did he get up quick to reject that shot. That's as fundamental as defense gets. A 
76ers leading by three. Shot clock at five. Here's Melton. No good from outside. And here's James. He'll bring it up for Los Angeles. Walker in the corner. And it's Davis with the jam. They needed that bucket. The aggression of AD when he senses a big moment, not something you can teach. How hard you? Inside. Is MP. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. Well, Greg, what can you say about Joel Embiid's growth from a leadership perspective? Pretty impressive, isn't it? Tremendous, Kevin. Carrying the Sixers with everything they went through. Even though he came in second in MVP voting two years in a row, no player more important to his team than Joel Embiid. The free throw drops for Embiid. Really an underrated part of Embiid's game. Excellent as a foul shooter for a seven-footer. So you just can't hack away at it. Good on ball. And it's been a really good day for him at the line. Some other bigs have well-documented problems on their free throws. He's not one of them. Now, here's James. Right side, Bryant. Outside, Walker. Feeds it to Davis. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. It's not just the size of AD, it's the quickness allows him to beat defenders in traffic, forcing fouls. And a moment now to quickly take a look at the offensive approach for the 76ers. I think they've looked to dump it down low as often as possible. And so far, they've been super successful using this attack. And they've been working things through the post tonight, flexing their strength on the block. Free throw, no good. Probably a little draft in the arena tonight. He's the last guy you expect to miss the mark by that. Absolutely. Timeout called the Lakers. on the second free throw. Yeah, being down two points instead of one thanks to the free throw miss makes getting a stop here absolutely critical. And the 76ers call time here.
the milk. Back to Harden. Tries from 16. It's good. Harden's got seven now in this quarter. And this is what great players do. Harden understanding how to deliver in a big moment. Passes it to LeBron. The kick out to Brown. From past the arc. Good, and the assist goes to LeBron. James has got his seventh assist in the game. Defensively, a breakdown along the perimeter. Just too slow to rotate. Now it was hard. Wasted no time on that shot, but it's off the mark. Davis looking for an opening. Over to the wing. Now here's one. Defended by Fiber. Six to shoot. Walker misses to Bryant. It's good, and they get the go-ahead bucket. And the Lakers lead by one. Time running low, guys, and uh, somebody has got to win this one. Yeah, well, who knows? We need overtime on this one. It's been that kind of game. Outside, Davis. Outside, Westbrook. It's it up for Davis, and it's Davis finishing it up. This just in. AD is not going to buckle up and fold. He's unafraid of the moment. And there is the feed to MB. And they get it. Lakers with the rebound. There's 57 seconds left in the fourth quarter. It's to Davis. I like when Russ looks to involve his guys. It brings this team closer together. Harden outside. Melton sets a screen for Harden. There's Embiid. Anthony Davis with the rebound. And now we've got the intention of foul. <laughs> 34 seconds left in the fourth quarter, and that's an intentional foul. He drops the first one, and that increases their lead to six. And so he drops them both. It's a seven-point game. Productive trip to the line. Extended their lead. We've got a nine-second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Here's Harden on the win. He's covered by Westbrook. Harden can't hit. And so it's Walker with it who brings it up for Los Angeles. So the Lakers take the win. A truly gutsy performance away from home. You know, it, it really was. And Kevin, when this one was hanging in the balance late, they showed just what a tough-minded group they can be. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Thank you, guys. Russell, congrats. How satisfying is this win? It's great. Um, you know, what we were supposed to do, we came in and competed at a high level defensively. For the most part, in uh, got the game. And we continue to keep it rolling, Russ. Thanks very much. Back to you guys. David, thank you as always. Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for now. For Steve Smith, Craig Anthony, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan thanking you for tuning in. As we present our New Balance Player of the Game, Anthony Davis.